What's going on guys? My name is Kerry and today I'm going to tell you why paying pad rent or lot rent in a mobile home park is actually a very attractive option. There's too many people spreading bad information without really looking at the numbers of what you pay, what you get, and where you save by opting to live into a mobile home park. I'm not saying it's the right choice for everyone. Everyone's situation is totally different. But what I am saying is if you actually look at the numbers, what you pay, what you get, you're gonna see it's actually a smoking good deal. This is Countryside Mobile Home Park in Salmon Arm and the brand new house behind me sits on a lot that's 75 feet wide by 100 feet deep. The pad rent on this lot is $485 per month. Now, what we wanna look at is the cost per month out of pocket to own a lot that's a similar size in the same area. So let's see what's for sale. The most comparable lot I could find for sale is just a little bit bigger. It's 0.19 of an acre and it's for sale for $144,900. We're gonna use that lot for our example, even though it's not flat and we need a lot of work and a lot of money to make it usable for a house. If you're financing the purchase of your house, the first thing that happens by adding land into the total cost is the down payment required will jump up by $7,245 if you're putting 5% down. The monthly payment will also increase. Uh, the mortgage payment would be $650 for the land alone, but 348 of that goes towards principal, which is good. And 302 goes to the good folks at the bank who lent you the money. Let's compare where we're at so far. So you've either got $485 going towards the pad rent payment, or you've got 650 going towards the mortgage on the purchase of the land. Now keep in mind, over the lifetime of a mortgage, the amount going towards the principal increases, and as it goes on, the amount going towards the interest or back to the bank decreases. There are a few more costs involved in owning a lot that sometimes get overlooked in these comparisons that I consider a gift in mobile home parks because they're included in the pattern. When you live in a mobile home park, you're only responsible for the property taxes on the value of the home. The park owner is on the hook for the property taxes on the land. The lot for $144,900, the property taxes per year are $1,416 or $118 per month. That brings our running total to $485 for pad rent. That hasn't changed. Or $768 per month for land ownership. The last thing that sometimes gets overlooked when considering going with pad rent or buying a lot is the sewer and water. Now this might be different in every city, but where I live last year in 2019, I paid $560 for the year to have my house hooked up to sewer and water. Now that's $46 a month, which doesn't seem like a lot and I'm happy to pay $46 a month to be able to use the bathroom in my house and have a shower. But that's also something that's included when you go into a pattern situation and that cost is on the park owner. Let's look at our comparison now. Padron still sitting at $485. It hasn't changed a bit but land ownership now taking the sewer and water into account has jumped up to $814 a month. The monthly cost of pad rent is actually significantly less than owning the lot, but people just don't realize it because it's all bundled into their mortgage or it comes in the form of an annual payment. They just see the 485 a month, but don't actually see what they're paying per month when you look at property taxes, mortgage, and services. There are going to be folks who have paid off their mortgage who are going to argue that the pad rent goes on forever while a mortgage ends when the balance is paid back after the 25 years or however long the loan was. And that's true. But then I would look at the opportunity cost of having $144,000 sitting in the dirt when it otherwise could be invested. Year to date this year, the S&P 500 index has returned 8.66% which equates to a little over $12,000, which is more than double what the annual pad rent would be. The point of this video isn't to prove that one way is better than the other. Like I said at the start, everyone's situation is a little bit different, so they have to personally decide what's gonna be best for them. What I am here to do is to show that if you actually really look at the numbers, 
Pattern is a really great deal, and I don't think it should be discounted by anyone. I think factory built options are the most underrated form of housing, and when people find out what's available for the price, it's gonna absolutely explode. If you wanna learn more about manufactured homes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's all I've got for today. We'll see you in the next one.